Hello, well, this is Laserboard, and welcome to today's video, guys. Today, I want to share with you guys one of the best trickster builds currently right now for your trickster. It is a little bit glass canny, but it does a ton, a ton of damage. In addition to that, guys, one of the best things about this particular build, you don't need any legendaries. You could actually run this with just purples. So if that sounds like something you're definitely interested, a like would be greatly appreciated. And let's dive in and take a look at the build. Like always, guys, whenever we take a look at the build, we always want to start off with the skills and then we'll wake our way into the class and then into the inventory so you guys can know exactly what it is that you need to get. So for our skills, guys, we're running Time Rift. This is going to be extremely important because this is going to be highly utilized. And the reason we like running this one is because it gives us a very fast cooldown of 8.2 seconds. So as long as we get this fast and easy, that is the main objective. Our main bread and butter of this build is Twisted Rounds. As you guys know, when our gun has Twisted Rounds, we do a lot more damage, and that is extremely important. Theoretically, with this build, you will never be running out of twist rounds as long as you're doing it correctly. It works with multiplayer, and it works with solo play as well. Last but not least, guys, we're renting Hunt the Prey. Hunt the Prey is extremely important as well because that's going to be keeping our twist rounds active every single time. And we have a very fast cooldown on this one on 4.8. I wish we could get Time Rift to the same cooldown, like to the Force, because this build would be even more deadlier if that was the case. Now that we know the skills we're going to be using, let's take a look at what class our class tree looks like. So for our class tree, guys, we're going top tree, and we're going off a couple knots that we're going to be picking up here. Of course, we're picking up this one, which is going to increase the close range weapon, since we are, our primary weapon is a shotgun. That's why we're using this one. We're also going to be running increased armor piercing. Really important, especially when you're hitting those uh, elites. Then we got, guys, an increase to our weapon damage. We go down one knot, close range damage increased again. Since we're always close range, this is always going to be kicking. We're picking up the shotgun master since we are using a shotgun as our main weapon. This is going to give us an increase of our shotgun weapon damage, which is extremely important. We also get a decreased cooldown of your movement skills. As remember, Hunt the Prey, we're going to be using it active. So that's going to give us that nice cooldown right there. Once again, picking up another close range damage increment. Going up top, picking up activate deception skills, increases your weapon damage by 35%. This is going to be based on the time rift. Whenever we activate time rift, our weapon damage is going to get boosted up to 35%. Then, guys, we have activate movement skill, increases your weapon damage by 35%. So, if you combine, just think of the combination. If you combine this one with this one, that's a 70% bonus uh, weapon damage that you're able to get within a total of eight seconds so you boom and bam and dead right so you want to do that on the elite then you got the decreased cooldown deception skill once again bringing that down we have uh, unforeseen end when the att when attacking enemies from behind which we're always going to be doing that whenever we're time rifting um not type rifting i'm sorry wherever we're teleporting we're going to be getting that increment as well which is through this one here then we get an increment to our weapon damage an increment to our close range damage Increment to our weapon damage right here. Cooldown reduction for our movement. And we're also getting, uh, when attacking enemies from behind, weapon damage is increased. We're also getting increased your weapon damage against elites by 15%. Once again, we'd like to you know make sure we do a lot of damage to elites. Magazine size, just to make sure we have enough magazines so we're never running out. You know, we could always keep track of that. We're also picking up, increase your shotgun weapon damage by 12%. And last but not least, for each enemy in close range, your weapon damage is increased by 8%. So theoretically, the uh, complete idea of this particular build is to do as much close range damage as you possibly can and in addition to that use your abilities to boost even that more damage the main weapon we're running right here which we have guys we're seeing in the gameplay was a dead shield dead shield is really important because it comes with fortress and the mod we're actually putting here is called dead uh dark sacrifice so during combat your weapon drains up to 50 percent of your max health in exchange for 75 percent weapon damage so that's why you guys see me killing the elites super duper fast and that is with some miscues that I had right there. But even though these are really, really effective, this is the one I would recommend. You could put on another one. You could probably go with the Anomaly Effigy and have uh, Concentration Blast and Dark Sacrifice. But I, I prefer this one a lot better. I think this one works wonderful just because we have Fortress and we're able to do Dark Sacrifice. But theoretically, this is the only weapon you're going to be using in this entire build. If you need help trying to find the Dead Shield, Hit me up on stream. I'll tell you guys exactly how to get it. And we could probably even get it live on stream. As you guys see right now, our firepower with this build is uh, 209. But once we do the abilities, this kicks up all the way to 100 firepower. Really crazy. Now, I did say at the beginning of the video that you do not need any legendaries. I am just running Tanner's Hat at the current moment. Uh, but you don't need this. You could actually run this on a purple. The reason why I feel this one's actually pretty good is because it already comes with Bugshot Shells. 
and I already had, uh, I needed Bloodshot Shell, so I might as well have used the, the Legendary that drops her. Plus, it's an 11.3. And what we did here is we replaced the top mod and put Instant Reload. This is the bread and butter of this build. When you teleport, it instantly replenishes your ammo. So that means we're constantly keeping our, you know, Twisted Rounds active because we keep getting our ammo back really easily. But you do not need a Legendary. The only thing you need it is to make sure you get a purple that drops with Buckshot and then move Instant Reload in there and you should be good. Then, guys, we have, we have the Robes of uh, Mortal. This is a purple one. Any purple one here is good as long as it drops with Bloodlust. And we went ahead and put Captain Hunter in here, which increases your damage against the Leech by 25%. Once again, we already have the 15% we're picking up from the skill tree, but we're also picking up that 25% uh, from, you know, this one as well. Then we have another purple, which is Sharp Eye. Uh, that's what we put in here. Killing enemies while aiming down sight. Grants you 60% firepower for 20 seconds. Stacks up to three times. Remember, when you teleport, be, when you rift someone up, when you lift them up in the air, I'll give you guys a combo of how you want to do it so you guys can get a better idea of how to maximize the most amount of firepower. And we put right here Sharp Eye, which is that one. And we just wanted, we just made sure that this one dropped the, with the Time Rift mod, which every enemy afflicted by the wave uh, it receives vulnerable status, making them super squishy when you're about to kill them. That's why you guys see how much of the enemies were red when I was just teleporting, uh, lifting them up in the air. Next up, guys, we have another set of purples here. This one came with Ammo Bargain. Twist arounds while the skill is active. Killing shots replenish 20% of your ammo per magazine. Extremely important because, remember, on the skill set, we picked up more ammo. And not only do when we teleport behind someone, we get our ammo back. But in addition to that, while the skill is active, we're still getting ammo back. So we're never running out of ammo. Now, here in this mod, this could be changed. Uh, I'll tell you guys which one you might want to change this to. I personally feel like I'm okay with this one, but if you feel like you're dying or you're not having a little bit of survivability, I'm going to tell you what else you want to change this from. And that's the reason I played it on a level with monsters, because a lot of people show you this build and they'll show you against ads that shoot fire, you know, that you shoot, shoot guns at you. And I wanted to show it again, monsters, because uh, that is, no, no one wants to show you that because you usually get hit with the monsters, right? Uh, with the ads that shoot, you never get hit. And I wanted to see, show you guys how much survivability it has. So, Personal space grants 50% bonus to close range weapon damage. I like that additional boost. You don't have to have it there, but the only other one that you could probably put in here, which is a uh, time rift one, it's the one that gives you a longer duration, gives you two seconds more that the person is lifted in the air. That gives you enough time to get hit your targets, and it also gives you a little bit more breathing room whenever you're moving there. So that's probably what you would probably replace that one with. I think it's called double space. We'll double check right now at the end of the video. And of course, last but not least, our foot gear. We have a pain transfer. So when we use time rip, weapon damage, 10% um, of the weapon damage and 30% of the anomaly damage dealt to one afflicted enemy will be transferred to another afflicted enemy. This gives you that massive crowd control. So when you have a bunch of ads piled together, you do your time rift and you shoot them and it kills the rest of the ads that are surrounding them, which is really cool. And then we have long range time rift, uh, triples the skill range. Uh, this one's really effective. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be doing too much in the battlefield. But it actually does. It gives you a nice breathing room. It helps you move around and traverse the map very quickly. And overall, in general, that is the build. So let me show you guys the one I was saying in case you do not have that one. Let's say that we were to go here and we were to upgrade our gear. And I believe it was the gloves, right? So for the gloves, yeah. So let's say I want to go mod gear. The one we're looking for, which is a time rift one, uh, should be right here, which is called, let's see. No, it's double. Yeah, double time. Enemies are suspended in the air two times longer, so that's going to give you a more uh, breathing room when it comes to that. So you could substitute personal space for that. If you feel that you don't need it, I would definitely run personal space. gives you that nice 15% extra additional boost. So how exactly do you want to play this particular build? So very easy, guys. First and foremost, you want to activate twist around, so your twist arounds are always active there. If we go to our firepower, it still stays the same. But what you want to do is when you do this, you're going to want to show your time rift. All right, so we time rift. I don't know if it's going to show up here. It went up to 244, and then when you're, once you're time rifted, you want to teleport as well. It's not going to let us do it because that's going to give us another increment right there. It's going to get us up to uh, almost 300 firepower. So you want to get your twisted rounds active. You want to time rift. You want to teleport and shoot the people from behind, and that's going to give you the maximum output. One do helpful tip I want to give you guys, if you feel like you're getting hit by melee ads, and you need to get your health back, remember, you hit them, punch them, melee, and that's going to slow them down, and that's going to give you a little bit of breathing room to actually move around, maneuver around the map, get your skill back set, and in addition to that, get your health back. So really important, melee is your friend in this particular build. 
and there you guys have it. That is the Glass Cannon Trickster build. Let me know what you guys think of this build. If you guys like it, if you don't like it. Also, have you been running this? If you have, let me know what do you think. And if you have any suggestions, also drop them in the comment section down below. I hope you guys are enjoying our runners coverage. If you are doing a huge favor, guys, drop a like and drop a comment. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications so you won't miss when our videos go live. Also, when we live stream, we live stream right here on YouTube. So make sure you guys check it out, check us out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.